the old tonneau cover. Never really been a fan of these, but I, uh, you know, as I get older, I guess they kind of growing on me. Um, I do haul some parts in this thing, and it does rain a lot around here, so uh, this is my compromise to getting the bed liner sprayed because I don't know what I'm going to do with the chassis. I might put air ride back on it. And the floor might be getting cut up again, and I'd rather not do that with a bunch of bed liner on there. So, uh, came across this company, Craft Tech. Uh, pretty reasonable price, under 400 bucks. Quality looks pretty good so far. I wasn't going to make a video on this because I thought I had seen uh, one on the, the old YouTube about. 67 to 72 trucks but I was wrong because I was just trying to go back and find it because I was having a little trouble uh, understanding the instructions and there actually wasn't one on this uh, year truck so again we're probably a quarter of the way through the project now <laughs> but Anyway, we'll uh, we'll do a little short video on this and see how it turns out. This kit comes in like a two-piece. I don't know if they do that just for shipping or what, but in the instructions, it doesn't really say anything about uh, squaring this thing up. But as you can see, where they bolt together there, we're going to have to loosen everything up and square this up, which I think we're going to have to... Probably loosen that guy up and pull it in or out. This side looks pretty good. This side looks like dog crap. So we're going to get that all done and then we can go on to bolting our hinge down. And then I believe we take it back off and start pulling the cover over it. Uh, tailgate is at the body shop getting painted. And then after it gets back, we're going to let it cure for a few weeks. And then we're going to send the whole truck out and get it cut and buffed. I never, I never polished it after I painted it. This paint job was straight out of the gun in my garage at my old house. And it's never had a piece of sandpaper or a, or a disc or anything on it. So it's never even been waxed. So I figure it's time. Probably clean it up a little bit. So. I'm going to loosen all of it. Is uh, something's, something's weird here. Maybe it's pinched at an angle. I don't know. I think first thing we should do is get these things in line and tighten them down. That. Make some marks on the hinge. Okay. Let's see, we need these.
Don't wipe your Sharpie marks off. Okay, it's got some double-sided tape. I'll make sure we get this. That 90 degree mark. Okay. So we got that all stuck down. We got our little angle irons in. You're supposed to slip these guys. These little clamps. The other nice thing is all this is a uh, clamp on. So no drilling. And normally, I don't like clamp-on stuff, because it's always kind of cheesy to me, but this is actually pretty decent. Guess we'll see if it flies off when we're at the racetrack next summer. Hopefully I'm not yelling into this mic. Probably got it clipped up way too high. Maybe I'll clamp it on my head, on my ear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, on my toolbox video, I had some guy just absolutely screaming at me because he's like, you blew my eardrums out. So, yeah, it's like, whatever, dude. It's trying to make some videos. So like, what do you, what do you want? So I screwed this one up over here. Didn't realize that this was slotted. This has got a little groove in it. And that groove goes right into that lip. So, anyway, okay, I think that part's good to go. I think now we put the cover on the top and then we put it in, maybe? Hopefully that's the right edge. Now we got to slide this. Slide this little bead. Right in this first little extrusion here. There we go. Okay. Gotta go farther than that. Too far. <sighs> All right. Now what? So this thing flips over the edge and then it's got to go inside that little guy there. So we got to figure out how to do that now. Oh God, it's like a big sail. Ah. Okay, well, got the cover all on, got the sides all or the sides of the 
cover all snapped into the frame. So everything is looking pretty good, starting to smooth out. I think the wrinkles in the side will come out the more it sits. All in all, pretty happy with it. Um, still got a little bit of adjusting to do. Uh, the struts work pretty good. I think a guy could move the struts back, uh, maybe get a little more lift out of the cover, but I'm kind of afraid to do that because when you pull down on it, the aluminum extrusions are a little, little flimsy, a little bit of deflection there. So I think I'll just leave it how it is. Um, they're pretty specific on where they want you to have them. Also the sides, the aluminum is, or the, uh, vinyl is pulling so hard on the extrusions it's kind of pulling them up a little bit so maybe that'll relax as it kind of gets stretched out i don't know maybe not you can't really tell from the uh when the cover's down all the way on the bed but it's just something i noticed was kind of interesting I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not um yeah pretty happy with it for under 400 bucks it's a pretty good kit um, you can see on this driver side you can see how the stake pocket is exposed if you go over here on the passenger side uh, it's covered up so we're gonna have to do a little more alignment but we're gonna cut this video here because it's starting to get kind of long and we'll wait to get the tailgate back and get everything all squared up. These latches too, need to pull some of these shims out so that it actually catches the bottom of the bed rail. Right now they're, looks like they're shimmed down way too low. Um, and the, every time I uh, open and close the latches, it, seems to be backing the bolt off so i gotta figure out how to make that bolt stay tight so but uh yeah all in all pretty happy with it pretty easy install i'm not great at reading instructions i get a little scatterbrained but between the videos i saw on youtube and the instructions and just kind of going through it, it i think it turned out pretty good so hopefully something in here helps you guys and thanks for watching